What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now look, whatever your goals are, whether it be a million subscribers, a better job, a better car, whatever your goal is, the most important part is the journey. You have to appreciate the journey. And on today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all new Belmo Bowling Ball, the latest installment of the Signature Series. This is the seventh installment in the Signature Series. There was the Timeless, the Drive, the Pro Motion, the Trend, the Trend 2, the Fate, and now we have the Journey. It features the same core that was in the Fate. It's the F8 core, which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.52, which is on the little bit higher end, and a max differential of 0.053, which is on the higher end. And then wrapped around this Journey, wrapped around that F8 core, is the TX16 Pearl cover stock. That's right. It's the same cover that's on the face to one of the most popular, one of the best bowling balls a Storm has ever made in a Pearl version. It's the first time that it's ever been used. So the bar, I mean, this bowling ball, even just being a Belmo ball, the bar is set high. Then you wrap it around a TX16 cover and that bar is going to be astronomical. So guys, let me know in the comments, do you guys like these Belmo balls? Why, why not? What is your hype level for this journey? Now for me, um, I have high expectations, but along the way to those expectations, I'm gonna enjoy the journey. All right, so we're gonna throw our first shot here on the video, reviewing the all new Storm journey. We got two cameras today, we're gonna try something out. We're gonna start a little bit straighter and then migrate our way in as the lanes tell us to. Yeah, so you can see that ball is super clean through the front and pretty violent reaction down lane. I kind of fell off that one a little bit. So we're gonna go right back to that same spot and try to throw a better shot. But it's a Belmo ball through and through. Like the ball's gonna be clean through the front. It's gonna produce shape. And what I'm hoping is that it ends up being a little bit cleaner, a little bit more quicker down lane when compared to the fate. So I'm sending it about 23 to start here. Same spot as the last shot. Oh, so I kind of missed that at the bottom and missed in and it sat there. So I want to, I really want to throw one more good shot from there. Cause that was not, that was not a great shot. And the smell is really, really good on this. Kiwi cantaloupe, it smells a, a lot like cantaloupe. All right, again, same spot. But I really just want to throw a good shot here. That's a good one there. Yeah, as you guys can see, really clean through the front, really quick down lane. I don't know that this is going to be the perfect ball for the fresh, but I think it's going to be a really good ball once the lanes start to transition. And throughout this video, we're going to chase this left. We're going to move a little bit left just to see. This is like two left, nothing, nothing major. Just producing a little bit more angle through the fronts here. See if it gets there. Ah, ring 10 or flat 10, sorry. I kind of missed it at the bottom again. I'm not throwing the ball very, very good. Let's go back to that same spot and just throw a better shot. All right, so coming off that 10 pin, I don't want to make a crazy move because it was not a very well executed shot. So let's execute at a higher level and then make the necessary adjustment here. There we go. I think really what I did on that shot that I didn't do in the last couple shots is I tried to be a little bit softer through, through the bottom instead of really trying to like shove it through the front, just get a little bit softer with it. I think that that's what this cover is really gonna end up liking for me. So let's stay there for a few more shots. Considering that this is gonna be one of those balls that's gonna look really good in transition and in the burn because it's a high RG shiny ball, the fact that it looks this good on the fresh is a good sign so far. Let's make another high quality shot here. Keep our tempo where it needs to be and go. Like that's a really good shot. Yeah, this thing just glides through the, it like ignores the first half of the lane and then really jumps down lane. Thanks, Chris. This is exactly what I think would be a really good ball when I need to get left and create that shape. So guys, tonight, league live stream, this ball's for sure going to be in the bag. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys are gonna see this ball in my league bag tonight for sure.
Yeah, um, I mean, if it does things like this on the fresh, like I, I keep telling you guys, it's gonna be in that same realm for me as something like a High Road Pearl, but stronger, uh, a Fate, but more angular, uh, TNT infused, but a little bit longer, a little bit quicker. I mean, I think it's pretty unique in the sense that that TX-16 is a pretty strong cover. The fact that it's pearl and shiny, really good thing here, guys. All right, so I'll throw one more from this same spot, and then I'll make another move in. Don't really want to stay parked in the same spot too long for you guys. Oh, really, really bad shot. I missed in. Gonna go, we're just gonna make the move in now. I don't wanna stay parked in the same spot. I'm gonna move three, four left off this shot, like four and three, four and two left. And then after the shot, we'll talk about use cases for me and this ball. Yeah, basically anytime I need to do that. And by that, I mean, get the ball through the fronts, create angle. Like I said, this is not, if you're looking for a super versatile ball, I don't think this is gonna be it. But if you're looking for a ball to go to, so like for me, I'm gonna start in my Magic Gem, because I got it here on the rack. I'm gonna start in the Magic Gem, and once the Magic Gem starts to roll a little bit forward, and I need to produce a little bit more angle through the fronts, journey for sure. All right, so I mean, this is a Belmo ball. Let's just move left again. A little bump left here. Just really gotta focus on that tempo. That should be really good. Yeah, guys, if you're, a, if you're a high rev rate player and you like to see your ball do this down lane, this is gonna be the ball for you. And also, if you're a lower rev rate player, maybe slower ball speed and you struggle to really get the ball to hook down lane, this ball has enough differential that I think it should be okay. If you're a higher speed, lower rev rate, maybe knock the polish off this ball. And I think it's gonna be a really good option. Let's just keep moving left now. I was telling Chris over here that I think he would like this ball because he likes to see his ball hook down lane. And this ball hooks a ton down lane. Oh! I mean, the fact that it even got there is pretty amazing. Let's move back right now a little bit because I think I'm too far left for what the lanes are giving me right now. And we're gonna to start to chase it right a little bit now, just to really get into that good zone. So I think that last shot, I was a little bit too far left. Yeah, I think that right there is the money zone. The lanes aren't super fresh anymore. Like I warmed up with the Magic Gem just to try to transition the lanes as much as possible. I think that's the really good spot with the journey. Now look, I know it's super cliche, but seriously guys, appreciate the journey. Not the bowling ball journey. Appreciate the journey you're on to improve your game, to meet your goals. I think this is probably the best name of a bowling ball, at least for me. Gotta enjoy the journey. Oh, missed left. Yeah, when you miss left like that, in the middle here at South Point, you got no chance. We'll go right back to there, make a good shot. Still appreciate the journey. All right, a couple more shots here to round off the video. So far, I'm impressed, but I've only thrown it on the fresh so far. In league tonight, you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna try to make an effort to go to it in transition so I can really take a good look at the journey. There we go, paralyzer nine pin. All right, one more shot from there, execute one more, really good shot, and we'll wrap up the video. All right, last shot of the video here, guys. Thank you for joining me on this journey, reviewing the journey, and Belmo, special shout out and thank you to you for making really good bowling balls that I can review on YouTube. That's a good one to end it on. There we go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this ball review of the all new Storm Journey. Like I said, Belmo, I think hit an absolute home run with this one. I was a really big fan of the trend, the trend to the fate. And now I think that this one is even better than those three. And again, I'll know more later tonight in league. And if you guys wanna see me throw this journey, 
join me in league live stream tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Till next time.